Joining me live and exclusive here on India Matters tonight is Manindra Agarwal. He's director of IIT Kanpur, the institution with which the Delhi government has partnered for this experiment. Mr. Agarwal, thank you very much uh, for being with me uh, here on uh, the show. My first question to you, sir, is can you give us a sense of whether today's cloud seeding experiment was successful? Uh, you know, the flight took place earlier today. We haven't had an update since then. We haven't seen rain either. What happened, sir? So we actually did two sorties, uh, one in the afternoon, one slightly later in the evening. Uh, the a total of, I believe, six plus eight, 14 players have been fired. Uh, I just want to make one correction. Uh, I was listening to you that these players consist as exclusively of silver iodide particles. That is not quite correct. We have our own mixture where the silver iodide content is uh, only about 20%. The rest mm -hmm. is a combination of rock salt and common salt. Okay. So this, uh, as I said, this was fired. Uh, the aircraft has returned to Meerut air, airfield. Uh, there hasn't been any rain so far. So in that sense, uh, it was not completely successful. But uh, unfortunately, the clouds that are present today do not have very high moisture content. I'm told it was only up to 15, 20%. So the possibility of causing rain with such low moisture content is not very high. Hmm. But we hope that at least some, at least uh, this uh, trial has given more confidence to our team that we can continue conducting these trials. And we'll again try tomorrow and let's see what happens. How many more such flights are scheduled, sir, as part of this particular experiment? So tomorrow we are going to do two more flights. And then we'll continue doing as and when we get cloud cover. So today, what exactly happened, sir? Uh, you know, according to the Met Department, you know, was the information uh, faulty? Uh, you know, did the, did, did the situation change once the aircraft was in the air? Uh, what happened? You know, I understand that these things are difficult to get right. It takes a bit of a trial and error. But what, what may have happened today? So, Met Department, uh, I'm not sure there have been conflicting reports uh, of the predictions about rain today. Some say there would be rain, some say there won't be. Uh, but uh, our team, what it found was that the cloud cover had very little moisture content. And uh, it could be the part over which we flew that had uh, smaller content. But that's what we found. And so uh, we do not expect any rain to occur today. Hopefully, we'll get something better tomorrow. Uh, Mr. Agarwal, do you think this is a sustainable uh, solution to Delhi's pollution problems, or, or is it a quick fix? Uh, you, know, from the, uh, you know, from what I've read of studies, it says about you know, 5 to 15% of rain at best is what cloud seeding can actually induce. Uh, is it a kind of stopgap, sir, or is it something you think can happen in the long term? Because that's what the Delhi government is planning. Well, it is a, an SOS solution. That is, when you have a crisis situation, very high pollution, then it is a, one of the methods one can attempt in order to bring down the pollution. It is not a permanent solution. The permanent solution, of course, is to control the sources of pollution. And ideally, you know, we should reach a point when there is no need for cloud seeding because there isn't any pollution. But until that happens, and it won't happen overnight, mm. but until that happens, this is one tool which is available for reducing pollution to an extent. Because, you know, the citizens of the national capital, Mr. Agarwal, as you will know, are looking at this uh, dirty air around them uh, and are wondering whether, you know, cloud seeding is going to be some kind of a you know, a magic solution and suddenly the air is going to turn clean after this aircraft lands, uh, you know, and obviously it doesn't turn out like that, but uh, this is a pretty expensive exercise. Yeah, I'm afraid this is no magic bullet to the solution of, of pollution, but it mm. can help 
elevate to an extent. Regarding the expense, uh, you know, this uh, cost is uh, somewhat higher because we are flying from Kanpur. Yeah. And uh, there is a lot of fixed costs associated with it. But if we do uh, create a setup where the, we can fly from somewhere near Delhi and uh, over, amortized over several flights, I think this will come down very substantially. The, the other thing, we, you know, which people sort of joke about, <laughs> Mr. Agarwal, is that, you know, if this cloud seeding thing works out, any government that comes in, you know, it's not party specific, but any government that comes in will say, Aray, hai, let's just get some cloud seeding done, Diwali crackers, crop burning, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. You know, we'll just order some cloud seeding to take place and, you know, we'll get some positive readings and short term benefits will be had. There's also the risk of that. It's not, you know, you know how this country works, sir. <laughs> no, but we can't uh, not do it because of such fears, you know, because mm. any attempt which leads to a reduction of pollution benefits everyone. And even though it is not a permanent solution, it is, uh, if it, even if it rains after some few days, uh, the pollution, because if pollution sources are still there, so it, pollution will rise up again. But at least it can provide some relief. So we, that we is have just, what uh, everybody Mr. Agarwal, needs to keep in We have just seen we have just seen a single, uh, uh, you know, largest single day spike in farm fires coming in from Punjab and Haryana yesterday and today as well. My sense as a journalist is that you know when when experiments like this are successful, the government will be disincentivized from acting on the source of the main pollution against which such experiments are acting. They'll say we have these quick fix solutions. We don't really need to worry about the main source of the pollution then. Well, that's something that I don't want to venture into. I mean, I am a scientist and I want to limit myself to my domain of expertise. It is up to journalists like you to keep everyone honest. Okay, Manindra Agarwal, thank you very much. Uh, you're giving us a, a small piece of uh, a news break here on India Matters, which is that today's cloud seeding... Uh, has not been deemed to be yeah. successful. No rain has happened so far, but uh, as with all scientific uh, endeavors, this is an experiment. There will be two flights that will take place tomorrow, and there will be more flights after that. Thank you very much. We wish you luck in this uh, experiment, ah, sir, because sure. like you said, any actions against pollution uh, you know, benefit uh, everyone.